for them to treat him that way and for him to die that way by himself and lay there for that many days, it's disgusting. Left for dead for days at Santa Rita Jail, exclusive body camera video obtained by KTVU shows an Oakland man left motionless on his bunk and deputies and nurses failing to check on him. An autopsy says Maurice Monk died in November of 2021 of natural causes, namely heart failure. But now video and records are providing more context into the kind of care the 45 year old received. New at 10, KTVU's Brooks Durrells looks into what could have contributed to his death. Back then, we received several tips about this in-custody death at Santa Rita Jail, but no officials and no sources would go on the record. We requested reports, body camera videos, and other documents, but were denied at every turn. Now, two years later, we have the video because of a lawsuit compelling its release. Newly released body camera video from November 2021 shows it was at least three days. Would you like your medicine, Mr. Bob? Before Alameda County Sheriff's deputies opened the cell door, went inside and put hands on to check on Maurice Monk. But by then, he was dead. They basically killed him, and it shouldn't be right that they get to walk around and everything's okay, oh, back to life. Monk's daughter and his sisters say he wasn't given any meaningful care. Taken to Santa Rita Jail two years ago after getting into an argument with an AC Transit bus driver for not wearing a mask and missing a court date. He suffered from schizophrenia. Just from the cup. Requiring medication that video shows was just thrown in his solitary cell day after day. It feels like they treated my brother like he was a dog, like an animal, and he wasn't. With the trays pushed into his cell, the bag lunches thrown in his cell. Mark. Left lying face down, half naked and alone, not eating and not taking his pills. The killer is the system. The system failed Mr. Monk, it failed his family, it failed the community, and it failed on every level. Civil rights attorney Adante Pointer represents the Monk family and sued Alameda County and its medical provider Wellpath, even alleging some deputies forged wellness checks and tried to cover up when Monk actually died. There must be some type of consequence for bad behavior. And here, until sheriff deputies, until the nurses, until the medical staff are held accountable in a way that they can feel, and it's not just another tax dollars that are paid out for these lawsuits. Unfortunately, this type of stuff will continue to happen. Found with bed sores and near a puddle of his own urine, the meds and food seem piled up by the door. It was just like disgusting to know that my own dad that really cared about people, like, like he really, really cared about people, how he went through that and <laughs> it's just that the person that he is and what he went through, like, that stuff is just so wrong to me. It's just so, it's so wrong. Sheriff Yesenia Sanchez was in charge of the jail at the time of Monk's death. She says her priority is being transparent with the public, but wouldn't comment on this case and told us this last month. We're going to make every effort to minimize anything as far as any, anyone passing away in our facility. We're, we're making those efforts. We're making those strides. It's unclear if any deputies were disciplined, but the lawsuit suggests there were several policy violations. And Wellpath, which has a five-year, $250 million contract, has not responded to our request for comment. Is Wellpath going to continue to feast on public dollars while failing at every step of the way to treat people with dignity and give them the medical care they, de they, re they deserve to receive? He was a father. He was a friend. He was a brother, he was a provider, he was just a person, and he had rights. Rights, the Monk family says, were violated and neglected, leaving them without a loved one. Brooks DeRose, KTVU, Fox 2 News.